people that I need to acknowledge and thank. My team has worked tirelessly uh, for very long hours since this investigation began. Our detectives, patrol officers, and supervisors have made this case the priority that it deserves. Our partner agencies include Alliance for Children, the Texas Rangers, U.S. Police Department, Colleyville Police, Grapevine Police, Mansfield Police, the White Settlement Police Department, the FBI, the United States Secret Service, Texas EquiSearch, and even more that I can't even list at the moment. They've all been instrumental in, the, in assisting our public safety team, and I thank you so very much for the support and the teamwork. I want to take everybody back real quick to how this investigation started and provide the current status of the case. On March 20th, our patrol team responded to the 3700 block of Wisteria Drive to conduct a welfare check at the request of the Texas Department of Family and Protective Services, CPI Division. Specifically, they requested that we check the welfare of six-year-old Noel Rodriguez Alvarez. The mother, Cindy Rodriguez Singh, who was on scene at the time, provided what we now know as misinformation that Noel was staying with family in Mexico. Unbeknownst to our team, Cindy had other plans to vacate the United States two days later on March 22nd. She boarded a plane at DFW Airport with her husband, Arshdeep Singh, and six of her children, ranging in ages from five months to 11 years old. Noel was not with them. There were no warrants or anything that would have kept her or kept them from leaving on their own accord at the time that they boarded the airplane. Obviously, we did not know this was their plan until we fully realized, until fully realized a few days later. As more details emerged, we determined that the house where the family had been staying at had a concrete porch recently poured and was paid for by Cindy. What made this stand out to our investigative team is that Cindy, nor the rest of the family, owned the property. It's not normal to conduct this type of construction at a residence that you do not own. As more tips came in and investigators worked each one, it became apparent that the concrete porch became a focal point of the investigation in investigating Noel's whereabouts. On March 30th, our investigative team obtained a search warrant to search the entire property where the family lived. The search of the property revealed several items to support us in the investigation. And in an effort to be as thorough and meticulous as possible, human remain detection canines and other specialized equipment was utilized to assist with the search. Although the canines did not positively alert anywhere on the property, a ground penetrating radar detected an anomaly under the concrete patio. This indicated the possible presence of unknown objects and the decision was then made to conduct a dig at that site. And we are sharing some photos of that process with you today. Ultimately, our teams did not locate any evidence as a result of that dig that would lead us to finding Noel. We have obtained arrest warrants for Cindy Rodriguez Singh and Arshdeep Singh for abandoning or endangering a child, which is a second degree felony in the state of Texas. We are in the process of working with our federal partners and locating these fugitives. We will continue to fight for Noel. This investigation has been difficult for Noel's family, including the siblings, father, grandparents, and other family members. In an effort to help us locate Noel, we are asking anyone who has had any personal interaction with Noel in the last year to call the Everman Police Department at 817-293-2923 or email us at tips at evermantx.net. If anyone wishes to remain anonymous, they can also call the Tarrant County Crime Stoppers, and that number is 817-469-8477. We are truly concerned about Noel's physical and medical well-being, along with the safety of his siblings in India. As this is still going on, as this is still an ongoing investigation with many unanswered questions, I'll be limited in the responses that I can provide, but I'll be happy to take some questions right now. Chief.